Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of Eris's Corner of Everything with me, Eris. Uh, the baby's currently nursing, so you can't see her. And my lovely little boy, boy, David, my little bubba. Alright, so he's going to be my helper today and he's going to help me show off our newest pops. Um, we have... How many do we have today? Count them. One, two, three, four. Four and... No, let me count again. One, two, three, four. Nope, we have four. Oh, wait. You know what? That box right there. Grab that one. Okay. Five. Five. Because I actually forgot about it. Yeah, it's, it's a really special so this, box. Yeah, one of them is his special box because the pop is specifically just for him. Uh, one is my mail call. It's actually a pop I won on a Mother's Day uh, waffle online on Facebook. Um, it was a free one, and you had to be a mom to enter. Yeah, and no I was, is. I was uh, the one that actually won it, and I was so excited. It's probably, uh, it's I'll probably wind up keeping it. I, I'm not a huge fan, but I know somebody else is a fan of it. So we're gonna start off with the waffle I won in the Mother's Day waffle. Uh, it, it's in not very good condition at all. But then again, I don't know if it's the outside of this. Is that from? This is from Bob's Burgers. It is Linda Belger. Like I said, I'm not a huge fan of Bob's Burger. And it's not actually one I would normally collect. But I know somebody else is a big fan of it. And I'm going to see if they want this. If I not, I'm going to just wind up selling it because I, I really don't like Bob's Burgers. I'm a fan of Bob's Burgers. No. It's not an appropriate show for children to be watching. Actually, I just want to check to make sure if, to see if it was the container in that it's got now box is pretty jacked up too. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in the best of condition, but it was free. So, I'm not going to complain that is much it about it. And it came in a pop protector. The only thing I will complain about it is Mother's Day was in May. I just got this this month. It was over a month for it. It took over a month for it to get here. And I actually had to contact the person. I was like, dude, are you, like, going to ever send it out or what? And he finally sent that, and I was like, thank you, finally. And what people don't realize is I use informed delivery from my job, the post office. I'm a mail, like I said, I'm a mail carrier. So I use informed delivery for my job to know when I'm getting packages. So just in case I'm at home, I can um, have my neighbor get it or somebody else get it. So when they send so start, when they ship it out, like this wasn't sent out to the 14th, the second they type in my address, I get a notification that I have an incoming package. Yeah, so it took over a month and I was very upset. All right, the next one. This is Dove's, this one is Dove's and this is also his favorite. Spider-Man because... Green Lantern. Uh, I said Spider-Man, I'm active. <laughs> it is Batman and Green Lantern. The comic moments, the GameStop exclusive. Uh, Dev is a huge Green Lantern and Batman fan. He's actually very huge in uh, DC and, and not Marvel. And I Batman ride. Yes, uh, we have passes to Six Flags Great Adventures. Yeah, and I, and and I got David I is got in finally. Sixth place. Yep, David. But it had to be with a grown up. No, you. Yes, David's finally big enough to ride a bunch of the rides. You know, the past. Three years? Three years, right, Ava? Eight, my, my daughter's behind the camera, so she's talking. And she says hello. Hi. She can't see. Um, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's been three years. Yeah. So two was three. We've had passes to go every summer. And it's a matter if we've actually used it or not. Because sometimes we don't really actually go out and play that much. But that was... Uh, uh, he's finally able to ride the ride, so he's really excited. So he's and I got everybody. in sixth place. No second. Six. They can't see. He they rode the uh, what is it? The Battle uh, of Metropolis. It was all. Yeah, the Justice League ride, the Battle mm -hmm. of Metropolis. Yeah. Uh, he 
him, Dev, and my girls because Dai can't ride any of the rides and they don't have any lap rides. Even though I don't understand why they could, she couldn't be on that one. I mean, as long as I held her, she'd be fine or kept her in her car seat. But well, I guess the jerky movement, movements and everything. But completely understandable. He came in second place. Dev, of course, came in first. And then the girls came in third and fourth. I was in fourth. And Ava came in last. I'm and then sorry. I got I'm really, six. really tired. I got, I won. I was in six. No, you get six point. You got all. You got six something. He had like six, six thousand or so, sixty thousand points, and came. Dad in was in first. He was second. Lily was third. I was fourth. All right, now hand me. All right, let's continue on. Who I'm not drag this out. Who are you gonna call? You hear me? Said who it is? Ghostbusters. It is Dr. Peter Vinkman with Firehouse, the uh, Ghostbusters. This is. They have, they have a scary ghost library? I want to kind of go get that one. I didn't notice it. But unless it didn't come out yet. I know all the Ghostbusters are out. And I remember one but show. But this one's I actually pretty Slimer. cool. Yeah. Yeah, we have, yep, they the one show we do have Slimer. As there. you can see. Yeah, you can see Marshmallow Man all the way up there, but you can't really can see him. Can we see? Yep, we can see him. See, look. He's next to my Karama. Oops. Yeah. He is. It's next to my Karama right there. Yeah, and then we have there's the Marshmallow Man. Man. He's toasty. And then you can still see my BTS and my Bulbasaur. And then there's my family. And mommy likes to hear um, the BTS songs. Yes, I do love to hear the BTS songs. Uh, we were in Walmart the other day. And I wore my BTS hoodie in. And two of the employees stopped me and were like, I love your hoodie. And the one turns out to be like a super massive fan. Like an even bigger fan than me. Like she went all the way to Chicago to see the concert. I love them, but I'm not going to Chicago or anywhere out of New Jersey, New York, PA area to go see them. Sorry, boys. Love you, but not that much. Okay, next one. Oh, yeah, and they had the BTS song on, and uh, I yelled <laughs> out loud quite loudly, BTS! Ah! So the next one is one of my favorites. She's also my favorite villain, Corella DeVille in the car. Hot Topic exclusive. Now, I absolutely love Corella. Miss Corella DeVille. She's one of my favorites. I absolutely love her. Uh, that's one of my favorite movies. Anything. Because I love Dalmatians. They're so cute. I used to have some when I was younger. Um, when we lived on the... Um, when we lived in the house and everything. I used to have them. This is a and big they were my favorite. Had Lucky Lady. Lucky and Lady. And these were... I loved them. Lucky was a little bit rambunctious. But I loved them. They were my sweet, sweet babies. I miss my Dalmatians' best dogs ever, besides my Rottweiler and my Pipple. Yeah. And now... Oh. As I... I... Freaking knocked my eye out. It hurts. Worst precious decision of my life. Yeah, you could look on the back too. A ten inch or six inch SpongeBob SquarePants. Yeah, you could get um that one and that one and that one. Squib SpongeBob Patrick and School Board. But David absolutely loves SpongeBob. So given the chance, it's a target exclusive, I said alright, fine, we'll get it. Because he's been very good. I haven't had, I've had a couple issues here and here, here and there with him. Um, there's a lot of, you know, my, my little buddy over here. Come here, say, come back over here. My little buddy over here is autistic. And it's... Yeah, there's also two of them. Two of what? Oh, yeah, stop. No, 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 leave it alone, leave it alone. Yeah, yeah I, I know what you mean. Leave that box alone. I had I had an extra one and I put it in a box because I'm giving it to the grandma because grandma is says. a huge fan of it. Are you gonna melt me or what? That's what my shirt says. You're gonna melt me, me or not? What? Are you gonna melt me? Yeah. No more, Mr. Nice Guy. No more, but Mr. Yeah. Nice Guy. Or are you gonna melt me? My son over here is autistic, so it's a kind of a battle a lot, off and on, dealing with his issues on top of my other three kids, but. Currently, I only have two others besides him because, like I said, my oldest went to her grandmother's house for a few weeks and she's coming back to go to summer camp. I know, Mommy. 
mom is feeling right, you know? Huh? Right now, mom is feeling right, you know? Yes, I, I said that at the beginning of the video. I am nursing sleeping. Diana. Mm, yeah, she's nursing herself to sleep. It's all right. It's something natural. Which actually, the, the, the really cool story, Um, there's a summer camp. And I take my kids to their schools for um, part of summer camp. And they, uh, for also for um, their, the school does uh, free breakfast and lunch during the summer. So I take them there. And a little boy comes up to me. And this little boy's got to be my oldest his age. And Lily's about nine. Lily is nine. So the boy had to have been about nine. I know uh, the summer camp goes up to fifth grade. So he couldn't be any older than whatever a fifth grader is. So 11, 12, I'm going to say, is the absolute max he could have been. He comes up to me while I'm feeding the baby. And I'm covered for a little bit. But she's yanking the cover off. And the little boy comes up to me, and he looks at me, and he says, Are you feeding the baby? I was like, yeah, I'm feeding her. That's why I have her covered up, and that's why she's not asleep. She's um, quiet now. And so he's like, oh, okay. Then he walks off, and he comes back, and he's like, comes up to me, and he goes like this. He's like, you know, it's a very natural thing you're doing. You don't have to hide it. And I was like, okay. Thank you, but you know, it's just me. I, I'm very. I try to be conservative when it comes to that, and try to hide it, and not like let everybody see. Has nothing to do with, you know, it being overly sexualized or anything. It's just it's how I feel comfortable because Mommy. I'm very self conscious. Mommy, can I show them the waffle maker? We're gonna do that in another episode. Hmm. We uh got a haul from Think Geek that we're gonna show off in the next episode. I just because I want to make sure everything works. And it's not broken before I show it to you guys. But, yeah, so. I'll see you guys next episode. I'm getting very tired. and It's, it's, about, not, it's not about to be nighttime yet. We're going to go somewhere after this. Yeah, we are going to go somewhere. Because we're always out. It's summertime. we got to be out all the time. We all right, we'll see you the out. next. Yeah, and we'll see. wants to go to Filipino. She likes Filipino food. <laughs> yeah. I do. It's one of my favorite foods. All right, so we're going to go now. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Yeah, bye.